This is a tutorial for the panel board module, and which is part of eCalc, Electrical Calc, on the iPad and the iPhone. We'll be looking at the iPhone version. So let's get going right into the panel board module. Uh, when you come in, you'll be looking at the default uh, panel board legend. To edit these, um, you can pull out your sliders with the number one tab and the number two tab. So let's pull one tab out first. Um, we can change our size. So let's say we want a six inch one instead of the four inch one, or eight inch one, and three inch. Now later on we can change our font sizes to match to fit. For now we'll go back to the eight by four. This will be your printout size. Um, that you'll have to cut out and will fit into your panel legend. You can go to centimeters or inches if you prefer a metric. Uh, now we go to our circuit numbering, the second thing in here. Um, so you'll be able to uh, do your circuit numbers wherever you want. You'll be able to do them from high to low or low to high, uh, sequential on one side. What you do is you set your top number. So let's we'll say we can set our top number on the right side to 42. And now it starts at 42 in increments by 2. But you can change your increment too. So you can change your increment to minus 2. And now it'll count down. Um, you can also change your number of circuits, which will be the total number of circuits displayed, uh, no matter what your numbering system is. And you can change the tandem to get uh, A and B breakers. Let's go ahead and change this back um, to two. Oops. To two with a two increment. Um, the next one is for your coloring. If you go to show color and uh, let's go to three phase, you'll get your red, black, blue, which is pretty standard in Canada. But of course you can change that to different countries and uh, use whatever coloring standard they use. I'll leave it on Canada for now. Also all of these have helps. You'll be able to click and get help while you're in your app without using any data. So let's get rid of that. Also when these tabs are up you can still use your panel and, and edit it. So we'll close that tab. We'll bring this tab up. Um, this one's more for the appearance, so you'll be able to change your height of your info bar, which is your top bar, or sorry, your second bar, your second bar down. So if you want to put more info in there, you can make it bigger. That's still maintaining your size of your panel legend, but making that bar larger so you can put more information in it. Um, your number bar width you can change. I usually try to keep that as thin as possible while still containing my numbers. You know, you go too thin, you can't see anything. Here's your title height. That's the height of your uh, title bar, obviously. And then you can zoom in here as well, so you can work on your panel legend a little easier. And also there's a reset zoom to put it back to uh, what you see is what you get when you print. Now if you move down, this is where you can uh, select areas. You'll want to do this to change the font size and the color and the number of poles. But the first thing you have to do is select. So you can select your title. When you do, you'll be changing the title's color. Yeah, so let's leave it green. And when you select info, you'll be selecting the info bar, which is right below. And now you can change its color. And font size, of course, too. And then once you got those set right, you'll just want to leave this on circuits because at this point you can select your circuits and you can select font sizes within the circuits, um, colors of course, and you can set your poles at this point too. So you can make a three pole or whatever pole count you need. You can also set some multi. Uh, you can also set this a multi select, so you can select multiple circuits at once or you can set it at a single select in which case it'll just be selecting one circuit at once and of course you have a select all handy for changing your font appearance all at once and your color all at once and you also have select none to unselect everything so let's get rid of that 
So once you have your appearance the way you want it, uh, to type in your circuit descriptions, you just click on it and type in whatever you want. These will automatically go to multiple lines if you need it. So if you go in here and you type a bunch of stuff, it'll go to a, a multiple line. And if that gets uh, too large, then you can uh, bump your font size down. So there you can type in your panel legend. Um, at this point, you can also name your panel if you want. And of course, you can bring up multiple legends. If you want to do another legend, just hit the plus, and it'll add a new panel in. And you'll be able to see that from and select that from the panel list. We can go back to Pine Street, and of course you can throw them in the trash at any point. Um, your question mark will give you a written help. And this is your menu you can print from. Also get your code references. In this case there won't be a whole lot of code references since it's panel legends, but in the other modules you'll be able to get that. Uh, you can email your panel legend printed, and of course view the video tutorial that you're viewing. And that's about it for Panel Legends. Let's go back out. Thanks for watching.